Alam nengah apa? Alas tu gaya yang pakai weed three atau dua ibu, no. Alat tiba go alas tu weed four salu jam ibu, no. Weed four mah parah di kah tu apa? Oh, biar mana esok di masa ni. Alat tu ini pergi adik aku cari macam tu jam jauh ibu, no. Di masa ni macam goldi ni, macam tu orang kau belok long esok di jual hari pagi ibu di masa ni. Adik aku goldi lah me hari adik macam as a operator, ane tu macam as a operator. Kau ada ini pakai alas tu adik macam jam ni mana lila lah adik. Jadi, kalau operator ni ambil tahu mula bawa, nanti mana cara sahul lalu mula bawa, nanti kalau di mana kerja dia, di mana sampai sini ada berita tahu mula, di mana di bejis kuai di sana bawa, nanti ada mula berita tu dia bawa. Di kalau dia ayah ini mana yang bawa, alasan apa yang dia bawa, nanti dia lama di mana, di bui mana pada dah hal, nanti dia nak jilat dia, nanti program yang sama lagi, ada apa lagi. Kalau mahu tahu ni ni di hal ia, so introduction di di Iceland Summation Convention, di mana pada berita lila jalan bawa, nanti itu. Kau nak dah LS buat dulu lagi, bukan? LS lagi ni ni, mungkin ni mahu dulu lagi sih, bukan? Dia orang di sini ni kita selalu jalan, tu dia hari ni kita dia. Nau dia lagi terus awak, bukan? Aye, ada. Okay, bah, sah, bukan? Now, there's an important other way to write matrix transformations down, which is called the Einstein summation convention, and that writes down what the actual operations are on the elements of a matrix, which is useful when you're coding or programming. It also lets us see something neat about the dot product that I want to show you, and it lets us deal with non-square matrices. When we started, we said that multiplying a matrix by a vector or with another matrix is a process of taking every element in each row in turn, multiplying it with the corresponding element in each column in the other matrix, and adding them all up and putting them into place. So uh, let's write that down just to make that concrete. So I'm going to write down a matrix A here, and I'm going to give it elements. A is an n by n matrix, and I'm going to give it elements a11, a21, all the way down to a n1, and then a12, all the way across to a1n, uh, and then I'll have a22 here, all the way across, all the way down, until I fill it all in, and I've got a n n down here. So the first suffix on this matrix, or the first suffix on all of these elements in the matrix, is the row number, and the second one is the column number. Now if I want to multiply A by another matrix B, and that's also going to be an N by N matrix, and that'll have elements uh, B11, B12, plus to B1N, uh, and down to BN1, and across to BNN. Um, dot, 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 dot. If I multiply this together, I'm going to get another matrix, uh, which I'll call AB. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a row of A, multiply it by the elements of a column of B, and put those in the corresponding place. So let's do an example. So if I want uh, element, let's say AB, element 2, 3, I'm going to get that by taking uh, row 2 of A, multiply by column 3 of B. So I'm going to take row 2 of A, that's going to be A21, A22, and all the others up to A2N. And I'm going to multiply it by column 3 of B, so that's B13, B23, all the way to BN3. Uh, and I'm going to add all those up. So that's going to be this element, uh, row 2, column 3 of AB. Now in Einstein's convention, what you do is you say, well, okay, this is the sum over some elements J of AIJ, BJK, where, so if I add these up over all the possible Js, I'm going to get... Um, a11, B11, plus A12, B21, and so on and so on, and that's for I and K is 1. And I'm going to then go around all the possible I's and K's. So what Einstein then says is he then says, well, okay, if I've got a repeated index, I just won't bother with the sum, and I'll just write that down as being AIJ, BJK, and that's equal to this, uh, the product uh, AB, uh, I, K. Um, so A, B, I, K is equal to A, I, 1, B, 1, K, 
plus A I two B two K plus A one uh, I'm sorry I three B three K and so on and so on until you've done all the possible uh, J's and then you do that for all the possible I's and K's and that will give you your whole matrix for uh, A B for the product. Now this is quite nice. If you were coding, you just run three loops over I J and K and then use an accumulator on the J's here to find the elements of the product matrix AB. So the summation convention gives you a quick way of coding up these sorts of operations. Now, we haven't talked about this so far, but uh, now we can see it. There's no reason, so long as the matrices have the same number of entries in J, that we can't multiply them together, even if they're not the same shape. So we could multiply uh, a 2 by 3 matrix, something with two rows and three columns, so one, two, three, one, two, three, by a three by four matrix, three there and four there, so it's got one, two, three, four times. And when I multiply those together, I'm going to go that row times that column, I've got the same number of J's in each case, so, and then I'm going to be able to do that for all of the possible columns, so I'm going to get something with four columns, and when I I'm going to be able to do that for the two rows here. I'm going to be able to do that row times that one. So I'm going to get a two by four matrix out. So it's going to have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I can multiply together these non-square matrices if I want to. And I'll get, um, in a general case, some other non-square matrix. I'm going to have the number of rows of the one on the left and the number of columns of the one on the right. Now, uh, all sorts of matrix properties that you might want, inverses and so on, determinants all start to get messy and mucky and you sometimes can't even compute them when you're doing this sort of thing. But there are times when you want to do it. And the Einstein summation convention makes it very easy to see how you do it and how it's going to work. As long as you've got the same number of J's, you're good. You can multiply them together. Now, let's revisit the dot product uh, in light of the summation convention. So if we've got two vectors, let's call them U and V. And we'll say uh, use a column vector having elements ui, uh, and v is another column vector having elements vi. Uh, and when we dot them together, what we're doing is we're multiplying u1 by v1, adding u2, v2, all the way up. So in the summation convention, that's just Okay, okay, got it. Uh, or launch the initial form, okay. Hmm. U, I, V, I, where we repeat over all the I's and add. But this is just like writing U as a row matrix pushing U over from being a vector to being a matrix with elements U1, U2, all the way up to UN. And multiplying it by another matrix, V1, V2, all the way up to VN. That's the same, that matrix multiplication is the same thing as the dot product. I just push the U vector over, and then my dot product is just like doing a matrix multiplication, which is sort of neat. So there's some... Uh, equivalence between a matrix transformation, a matrix multiplication, and a dot product. So let's look at that. Now, if I take a, a unit vector here, let's call in u hat, with components u1 and u2. And let's imagine uh, what happens if I dot him with the axis vectors. So if I've got an axis here, e1 hat, which would be 1, 0. And I've got another axis here, E2 hat, uh, which will be 0, 1. Now let's think about what happens when I dot U hat with E1, when I do the projection of U hat onto E1. So when I drop U hat down onto the axis here, when I do the projection of U hat onto E1, I'm going to get a length here just of U1, just of the x-axis element of U hat. Now what happens if I drop... Uh, project E1 onto U hat, well, I'm then going to get this projection, and I'm going to get a length here, this projected length here. Now, the fun thing is, we can actually draw a line of symmetry here through uh, 
these two projections where they cross. And this little triangle and this little triangle are actually the same. You can go and do a bit of geometry and prove to yourself that that's true. So this length here, this projection, there, that projection, is the same length as that projection, which is implied by the dot product. If I dot E1 with U hat, um, when I do this multiplication here, it's symmetric. I can flip them around and I get the same answer. So this shows geometrically why that's true. And if we repeat this with the other axes, with E2 here and any other axes there are, then we'll also get the same result. So this is why the projection is symmetric and the dot product is symmetric and why projection is the dot product. So there's this connection between this numerical thing, matrix multiplication, and this geometric thing, projection, which is quite, quite beautiful and mind-blowing, really. And that's why we talk about uh, a, a matrix uh, multiplication with a vector as being the projection of that vector onto the uh, vectors composing the matrix, the columns of the matrix. So what we've done in this video is look at the summation convention, which is a compact and computationally useful but not very visual way to write down matrix operations. And that's opened up looking at funny shaped matrices, um, and that's opened up re-examining the dot product here. So that's really nice. Hello, Jalam, do you be lily Okay, ตรอมญาณเลยปี้ตัวอภิสุรเอลัสซาดีฮาเลยตัวเปียวเหมือนกันเนาะดีมาตัวดีกะเปียวว่าล่ะคุณน่ะดีไอซ์ตันซัมเ
ဒီမှာလို့ကော့စ်ဝိုက်ဒေါ့ဘရောဒ်တဲ့သုံးနှင်ခါကြတယ်အတွက်အဲ့ဒါမျိုးလေးပို့ကောင်းတဲ့
ว่าซีอุตภาลุไหมซีอุตภาลุไปแล้วเอ็นเนี่ยบีอุตภาลุไปแล้วเอ็นเนี่ยบีอุตภาลุไปแล้วเอ็นเนี่ยบีอุตภ
a anche di e bono lo so se si parlare tu parlare bono allora e a e tu dire bono mi va per lo tocca ma le ecco ma va le ecco fermo no top lo da in tua dia ma parlare bono ti ti c'ha hai na tan top lo di ha le top lo da ga e a ba bi a ba lo la ba o ok e a ba bi a ba lo la ba o me e i go to n c do o triva a po wa อ่ะเนี่ยไล่ล่ะสกุลนี้เชฟบ่าวสกุลนี้เชฟบ่าวโคตรีวันโคตรีวันโคตรีวันโคตรีวันโคตรีวันโคตรีวันโคตรีวัน
ไมเนสตูคอมาซีโรคอมาซีโรปีวายดากาตูปอนอเนาะนี่นะครูบาเวอนาคตมาปาบาวโลจิตาวตะลิลุบาเดอะสุนเอียบีบีอยู่เนา
ဒီတိုင်မန်ရှင်းပုံသာမျိုးလားသူအဲ့ဒါမှာရှုံလောင်ရှေ့ပွားဒီတိုကျွန်တော်တိုက်ရှင်းတွေရအောင်ဒီတ
We can consider the example for looking at the share using the linear algebra. One, okay. Go back to the dimension reduce the whole time. Share will refer to the whole of the one. Okay, happy. You must have three dimensions. The one. The sun is sufficiently far away that efficiently all its rays come from the parallel to each other. We can describe their direction with the unit vector. This is one. Their direction is the other one. So you are happy. We can describe 3D coordinate point on the object in our state <coughs> with the beta r bono, beta r liya bima wale, di ha liya beta r li bono, di ha ye s ka tiyo la le, di ha ye beta liya di to r li ne la le bono. Object we ki, we kash share on the object on the r prime, r di ha li time shi me bono, share li tola an bono. Along with the path the light have taken, it have been blocked in R1. R1 and the Hali, what you get up, R got blocked in the Hali column, and R1 and the Hali column, and the Hali column, and the Hali column. Okay. The R prime, no? The yellow R prime 3, R prime 3, R D Hama, the Mabo, no? The R prime 3, R D A, is a copy of the test. R prime 3 is 0. R prime E3, E3 is 0. So we can rewrite the far, okay, that's 0 to the 20, and the other one, that's 0, yeah, you know? Hello, so that uh, we can uh, we can derive the expression this for zero uh, where that s three equal to s e dot uh, zero so the anet the has zero to the dia over three line the ha over three line the anet in the other man it is s s three equal to s s prime dot to body uh, we erase that uh, uh, this expression one had it and subject back to the expression r prime in order to get r prime internal r okay oh baby R prime is the value of the substitution of the kind of one. The formula is the formula of the one. And now, the formula is E3 is equal to R comma E3 is equal to 0. The S3 is equal to 0. S3 is equal to 0. S3 is equal to 0. R 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 prime is equal to R minus S. R is equal to 0. Okay. Hmm. Ah, uh, ala yare so bad. Ah, ni ne so share ubat dia lo amo no. Ah, ah prime ga bana equal to le so. Ah prime equal to ah equal to ah. Tapi sabda amal. Sabda. Nanti kalau ni ada sabda lah mana. Ah prime ga ah plus one half as sahaja thalal le bono. Okay, happy. Ah dua zero ah dia ga ah อาปรายคือ R prime internal R so do R prime internal R Hmm You have a little bit of a thing to do Hmm, why have to do this? How can she 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 do this? Hello, the formula go R E about the letter R E is zero, but zero ni ama R E is S three dia. Tapi lo, tapi lo S three ni dia sahle. Formula ya. No, bukan malay tua. Aw pelan formula pi. Emak jadi, emak dah lihat tipu tu. Ia malay tipu jadi, aw mana aku dah bilai. Aw pelan itu dia so, emak dah mana aku cakap lagi dia hai pelan. Tak sah deh, sah tuai dah. Dia hai le, dia hai le tu lagi dah lah. Hmm, hodeh, hodeh, hodeh. Dah lihat sih naya, emak dah tuai. Emak dah tuai, emak dah tuai. Oh, okay lah, tuai lah. Contoh dia, ada. Ada sahaja contoh dia lah, mana? Ada sahaja main. Kalau ada di ada equation yang dah share macam mana? Y, apa dah share macam ni? S three. Oh, S three baru lah tu beda. S three baru mungkin lah. Okay, S three. Okay, ada berapa macam mana? One has S three. S three baru ka? One tham itu mana? Di ha S three dah main ni A E E E three ya. Nanti one gua S three. Oh, mahu main ni sini. Dua nak main ni. Mana jengi? Ada mana mana mana, ada mana. Jom cuci ya, beli wal. Ada tak mana deh? Hobi cuci dengan mana deh? Kalau kalau deh, jom bawa.
ဒီလိုက်မှာဆိုတော့ထက်ချီလို့ရရမထင်ဘူးလားအဲ့ဒါဆိုရာမှာကွာဒီကျော်ကျင်တာကိုအက်အဲ့လာရေပြီးဝိ
to 1 over 2. So the instruction there is do uh, 3 over 2 of 3, 1, and then do 1 over 2, a half of 1, 1, in my frame, if you like. So in my world, that's going to give me the answer of 3 times 3 over 2 plus 1 times 1 over 2 is 9, 10 halves, which is 5. And 1 times 3 over 2 plus 1 times a half, so that's a total of 2. So that's the vector 5, 2 in my world. 5, 2. Those two are the same thing. So this is Bear's vector. And this is my vector. So this transformation matrix here are Bear's basis in my coordinates in my coordinate system. So that transforms Bayer's vectors into my world, um, which is a bit of a, a problem. You know, usually I'd want to translate my world into Bayer's world. So we need to figure out how to go the other way. So my next question is, how do I perform that reverse process? Well, it's going to involve the inverse. So if I call Bayer's transformation matrix B, I'm going to want B inverse, which is B to the minus 1. And the inverse of this matrix, well, it's actually pretty easy. We can write down the inverse of that matrix pretty easily. It's going to be a half of 1, 3, flip the elements on the leading diagonal, and put a minus on the off-diagonal terms. And we can see the determinant of that is 3 minus 1 is 2, so we derive our determinant of a half. So that's going to be b to the minus 1. And that's the, uh, my basis vectors in Bayer's coordinates. So that's my basis in Bear, in Bear's world. So my one zero is going to be a half of one minus one in Bear's system, and my zero one is going to be a half of minus one three in Bear's system. And we can verify that this is true if we take this guy, a half 1 minus 1, and compose it with Bayer's vectors. We've got uh, 1 plus minus 1 of those is going to give me 3 plus 1 is uh, 3 minus 1 is 2, 1 minus 1 is 0, so that's 2, 0, halve it gives you 1, 0. So that really does work. If I take a half 1 minus 1 of Bayer's vectors, I get my unit vector. Okay, so that really does do the reverse thing. So then if I take my vector, which was 5, 2. Uh, and then I do that sum. I should get uh, the world in Bayer's basis. Three by two, ne one by two. Three by two, ne one by two. So you do it by
ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้
of 1 plus 3, which is 4. So that gives me 2. And that's going to be the first component of Bayer's vector because it's the first of Bayer's uh, axes. And I can do it again with the other of Bayer's axes. So that's 1 over root 2, 1, 3. That's the vector in my world. With the other of Bayer's axes, which is 1 over root 2 times minus 1, 1. And when I do that dot product, what I'll get, well, 1 over root 2 will multiply to give me a half again. And I've got 1 times minus 1 plus 3 times 1 is a total of 2, which is 1. And that's Bayer's vector, notice, 2, 1. So I've used projections here to translate my vector to Bayer's vector just using the dot product. Now remember, with the vector product, um, what I'd have to do is I'd have to remember to normalize when I did the multiplication by Bayer's vectors. I'd have to normalize by their lengths, but in this case, their lengths aren't one. So it's actually really easy. Um, so we don't have to do the complicated matrix maths. We can just use the dot product if Bayer's vectors are orthogonal. Now there is one last thing. If you try this with the example we did before, with Bayer's vectors of 3, 1, and 1, 1. So before we had those being Bayer's vectors. If you try the dot product with those, because they're not orthogonal to each other, it won't work. Uh, give it a go for yourself and verify that, that it really won't work, that they need to be orthogonal for this to work. If you have them not being orthogonal, you can still do it with the matrix transformation. You just can't do it with the dot product. ตัวนั้นเราหนังดีกว่าที่จะมาได้แล้วมันทรานส์ฟอร์เมชั่นเนี่ยเราลุยอะไรบ้างเนาะอันนี้ก็มันส่วนตัวอะไรดีที่ท
know how to write down a 45 degree rotation in my normal 1001 system. So in my system, which is 1001, a 45 degree rotation rotates 10 up like that. So it becomes, if it's still a unit vector, 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2. That is a normalized 1, 1. And it takes 01 round to minus 1 over root 2, 1 over root 2. That is that 45 degrees there, that 45 degrees there. So I can write down the rotation in my notation, let's call it R, being a 45 degree rotation, as being 1 over root 2 times 1, 1, minus 1, 1. That's what a 45 degree rotation is in my world. So what I need to do is first transform the vector x, y into my basis. And I do that by multiplying it by b, right? Then I can apply my nice sensible rotation r to that vector that's now in my basis. Um, so what I get here when I do rb, I've got the vector in my coordinate frame. Now, the problem is, Bear doesn't care about my world. He wants to get the rotation in his basis. So then I have to transform the resulting vector back into Bear's basis. And I do that by applying b to the minus 1. And b to the minus 1, I get by flipping the terms on the leading diagonal, taking minus the off-diagonal terms, and dividing by the determinant here, which is 2. So I multiply by a half. So that then gives me the vector back in uh, vector back in bears in bears frame. So overall what I've done is I've done b to the minus 1 times r times b and what that's giving me is it's giving me the rotation in bears coordinate system which is really neat. So now all we have to do is do the sums. And when we do that, RB gives us this, uh, and B to the minus 1 RB gives us this. Um, I've written them down there, so pause and ponder if you uh, want to verify those on your own. So this is what a 45 degree rotation looks like in Bayer's coordinate system. Notice that it's completely different to the one in my standard basis. It isn't very easy necessarily or obvious to enter it just out of your head, you have to do the calculation. So if you want to do some kind of transformation but in some funny basis, this equation b to the minus 1 rb is going to be very useful. To step back here, the point is that if we want to transform to non-normal -form coordinate systems, then the transformation matrices also change. And we have to be mindful of that. And this is the sort of algebra you see all the time. We've got the transformation matrix R wrapped around by b, b to the minus 1 uh, that does the translation from my world to the world of the new basis system. So thanks a lot, Bear. You really helped us out to understand all this stuff. So what we've done in these two videos is we've looked at how the numbers in a vector change when we change the basis. And we've thought about the coordinate systems and how to do transformations in non-orthogonal coordinate systems. It's been quite hard work, but this really sets us up, for example, in principal component analysis to operate in different basis systems. What is 1 by 2, blah, 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 this or that? 1 by 2, okay. Mm -hmm. Two, one comma one. Hmm. Yeah, and comma two comma zero four comma two 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 two. But the other thing, manage your value. Let's go. Yeah, this is the math. Let's do. Now, for the year, yeah, I want to learn about it. One by two, three by two, one by one. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Four comma zero, four comma two. Two comma zero and four comma two comma. Hmm. 
ตุ๊มาเฉลี่ยปาดาลนี่เสียมาเลยตัวไหนจ๊ะตาดาฮ่าก็จบก็จบยับได้ก็จบซาลูดีว่าที่มันยับปาดาลทำยังไปลุยย